Killian knows how to wear a hat. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Killian rocks a hat like nobody I've seen. Yes. Yeah. Are you shocked that your uh, outfit became the Halloween costume this year? I was thrilled. <laughs> I was thrilled. I was thrilled because the Halloween costume served men and women and kids. And actually, there's somebody who won a dog's prize. She's in the audience right there. She dressed her dog as Oppenheimer, and she won. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, talk about your challenges here in, in dressing uh, him and everyone else here in it uh, through the various uh, different eras that it takes place. Well, it goes over a, a course of like 40 years, and so it's many different decades that we had to look at. Um, Killian was the most electric collaboration that I've ever experienced in my life with an actor. Um, we were on the same page immediately, and um, he was actually kind of, uh, kind of informed early on by Chris sending him images of David Bowie from the 70s, his exaggerated look in American life. And that exaggeration was quite similar to Oppenheimer. And when we got together, it was an immediate, um, it was just an immediate uh, like kind of sculpting session because we had to create this silhouette that was both large, large shoulders, full, a sweep, a drape, voluminous trousers, all on this beautiful man, and being crowned by this hat, which would actually kind of inform the whole landscape in a, in a way. And so it was a, a thrilling challenge, a great challenge. And every time we worked a little bit closer to get it right, to get it right, to get it right. And the moment we saw it on, on film, it was heaven. Wouldn't you say that, Killian? Absolutely. It was really, and, but this man of Killian as Oppenheimer immediately, he immediately, you knew when the two met and you knew immediately, I get chills now thinking about it, but you know when the two became one and Killian was no longer there. It was only Oppen Oppenheimer, and it was Oppenheimer for those 57 days of shooting and everything else that we had to do with him. And everyone else, it was, it was great to actually go through all of those decades and discern what we wanted to keep and what we didn't want to keep from, the, um, from all of it, because one of the main points of view was that we really wanted to appeal to a modern audience. And in appealing to a modern audience, you had to discern the decades and know what you would use and what you wouldn't use. So everybody was just great in actually coming along the ride. There was not one actor that was disappointed. It was so cool. And uh, before I go on to Jamie Lee, also you worked with Robert Downey and okay. uh, turned him into Charlie Chaplin in one of his Oscar-nominated performances. Yeah. So, uh, one, just one of the many movies uh, she did, which is cool, little, little added info there. Um,